first water mains can be devastating to homes and businesses and in London they're a daily occurrence. Hamza's restaurant was flooded in January and had to close for a week. That incident did have a big effect because people couldn't come through for nearly two weeks and uh, there were quite a lot of pipe bursts in the area which lasted for nearly a month. They closed down the closest, closest rail station so people could not even come through tubes and uh, so it did get affected and I still I feel the sense that it is affecting me till date. Research by BBC London shows that over the last seven years there were 36,000 burst pipes in the capital. West Horn Avenue here in Greenwich is part of the South Circular and here over the last seven years there have been 50 burst water mains. This is London's leakiest street. And independent watchdogs say Thames Water's record is far worse than any other water company. Broadly, the trend at Thames Water is that leaks are increasing. In 2012, the number of leaks was just over 4,100. By 2017, the data shows it had risen to just over 4,800. On this site, we practically look at where we might want to replace our pipes. Thames Water says the number of leaks has fallen from its peak in 2013 and it's working to replace ageing Victorian pipes. Are you doing enough because people say you're not spending enough money on repairing the leaks? So money's not an object, uh, not, not, not an issue. That's why really? well, over the last, so last year and over the next two years our board have committed to spending an extra £200 million on proactively finding leaks and fixing, and fixing leaks. We've got a huge amount of support from our, from our board. The regulator though wants further improvements and today's fine will again raise questions about investment in crucial utilities. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.